Okay, hey guys. Um, so today I've decided to finally tell my story. <laughs> Make it sound like it's a big deal. Okay, so basically I thought it'd be fun to have a have a little wine and story time. I didn't rhyme like I thought it was going to. Wine and talk. <laughs> Chat and chew, you know? Anyways, I mentioned in my last video, um, the Christmas one, check it out, <laughs> that I have like a fun fun story that I want to tell. I guess it's like a couple stories that I want to tell um, from my trip in Norway. I don't even know, how do I start this? Basically, you know how you go on a trip somewhere, right? And you have to be in the air for a long period of time. Okay. So I was going to Norway and I'd never been anywhere by myself. So I traveled from New York to, um, where do we go? Amsterdam. And then from Amsterdam to Bergen, I think. But on that flight, it was only like an hour flight. I just felt so, so, so sick. Like I actually had to go to the bathroom and I didn't throw up, but I was like gagging and like, I just felt so gross. You know, I was like, what do they call it? I like dry heaved, you know, but nothing came up, thank God. But I was like, uh-uh, can't eat anything this entire flight or I'm worried it will actually come up. Um, I don't know, it might've just been like altitude sickness. I never had anything like that before, so I was just <laughs> worried, but I had also not slept very much. So I was exhausted. And I think that that probably had a lot to do with it too. But anyways, so then I get to Norway. I have no idea where to go. Like I got off the plane and I was like, what now? <laughs> and so the guy, there was a guy and he was like, oh, you could take this um, light rail thing and go wherever you want and get off at stops and whatever. So I paid for the ticket and I got on the light rail and still I'm exhausted. So I'm like trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> And then uh, I get off to my stop, which is um, Fantoft. And then I'm like, okay, great, here, finally, thank God, this is where my building should be. Where is it? <laughs> where do I go now? I don't know, I'm like lost. And it's not very confusing, like now that I've obviously figured it out, it really wasn't confusing. But back then I was, I think it's the exhaustion. I'm just gonna blame it on that. But I went to the gym and I was like, this is like where you're supposed to check in. Apparently it was like, check in here or whatever. And I went in and I was like, okay, thanks. Like, where's, where do I go? And she's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, cool, thanks. So I go out and there's a building behind the gym area, like directly behind it. And it says apartment block, like A, B. And then the one next to it is another building with C, D. And then she said I was in uh, building A. And I was like, okay, so I have to go there. Um, only problem is there's a giant fence around it. So I had no idea how to get in. I was like, what, <laughs> what do I do? So I was really, really stressed out. So I ended up like literally walking around the entire building. And then I was in like, uh, um, like rocky, uh, rocky muddy area but there was another like little village type of thing down here with houses and I was like, oh, maybe that's like connected to this. So I walked down there and <laughs> these two women were like walking and they were like, uh, do you need, do you need help? And I was like, yeah, how do I get to this? And they were like, it's right there. And I was like, oh, but okay, all right, whatever. So I didn't want to say, um, how do I get around the fence kind of thing. <laughs> And I just kept walking around. And then finally, I see there's a passageway in the fence. Like, they put fences on either side, but they made a little walkway. I don't know how I missed it, but I go. Then I can't figure out how to get in because they blocked off the A part where I'm supposed to go in. The B part is only open to the B building. They're connected, but I don't, I don't know how to get in because I think my key only works for my side. So then I'm like standing there waiting for someone to open the door. And then I go in with like all my luggage and stuff. And I was like, okay, I guess I just have to always wait for someone to open the door. Come to find out, no, my key works for the entire building. I can go in that side, I'm just stupid. <laughs> so 
yeah, so that was kind of one of the funny stories. Um, but yeah, that was a long day. You can also watch that video. Um, and you can see for yourself that I was a little bit exhausted. <laughs> Cheers to that. Mm. This wine is like, I'm pretty sure it's really old. So it's Rex Goliath wine. <laughs> it was at my grandma's house and I took it home. Um, but it was sitting there for a long time and I know you're allowed to age wines, but I, I don't think it's bad. It just, I'm just not used to this taste. I don't know. Anyway, so another story is when I was going to um, visit my school because I wanted to go see what it was like before I actually went to school so that I would get there on time for my classes and everything. So I took the Vibonin, which is the light rail. I ended up buying a pass for it and basically just like walking around by myself, not knowing where anything is. And then it's pouring rain, you know, and I'm wearing like a little rain jacket that I thought would be good enough. No, 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 no. I get freaking soaked in this thing. Like my entire body is wet. <laughs> yeah, I did find the school though, but that was not pleasant. So it's um, raining a lot in Norway basically. And one other time it was raining, I got on the b in the light rail, and I, I was like walking to my seat. And in Norway, they don't like when you sit directly next to someone or like, they just don't like when you get in their personal space, right? So I accidentally slipped and I was like in the little booth sitting areas, you know? So I was like literally walking into the, the sitting area and I freaking slipped and I fell on this woman. <laughs> she's like older, she's like older. I don't know, like 60s maybe. And all I just hear is her speaking Norwegian and I'm like, ah, ah, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Cause I straight up slipped and fell like into her. She's like sitting down. I like fell in her freaking lap. <laughs> and I think she's either asking me, are you okay? And I'm over here saying, yes, yes, yes. Or she's asking me, are you hurt? And I'm over here saying, yes, yes, yes. Cause I, I didn't want to speak English because I, I didn't know if she knew it. And I was just too panicked to where all I said was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like laughing and crying at the same time. And this woman must think I'm insane. Uh, but I, I don't know. She probably felt so bad for me at the same time. So then I sat across from her. I was like, I composed myself enough to get up and I sat across from her. And then I had to spend the next 15 minutes just trying to pretend like it didn't happen while we are the only two in this booth area. It was awful, awful, so embarrassing. Yeah, so that's all of the stories that I have to tell. Um, I mean, I think I have more of like stories with what I did with friends and stuff, but these are the embarrassing ones. So I figured they'd be more interesting to hear about. Um, yeah, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Cheers. This is such a cute glass too, isn't it?